Journal Entry, August 23rd, 2020. Time to use this, I guess. It gives me something to do while I wait for the world to make sense again. If it ever will. I've been here for weeks now. <laughs> Talk about a wild series of events. My life is a storm of chaos right now. So I'm writing a log of everything that's happened in the past few months. First, I managed to flirt with this one woman one time. Gosh, she looked like a goddess with that golden hair of hers. I'm shocked she gave me the time of day. Didn't get her number though. I ended up not needing it. After that, I keep seeing her out of the corner of my eye. Every time I noticed her, she was just a little closer only to vanish moments later. Then I go to bed one night. Falling asleep, she appears in my dream, smile on her face, but staring at me through the window. I jump up from my sleep, only to feel me get pushed back down by my neck. I'm awake, and she's actually in my room. I squirm underneath her for what little good it did. She just stared down at me with that same smile I dreamt of. She finally spoke, saying she had finally found what she was missing. I tried to talk to her, but her iron grip on my neck made talking impossible. I have never felt so frightened or helpless in my life. She leans down, sniffs my neck. She then says she has been looking for me for decades. How? She's been looking for me before I was born or something? She leans in and then a sharp pain in my neck. I find myself unable to scream. Eventually I work out. She has bitten me. I try to beg for mercy, but then the world slowly goes dark. Turns out she never intended to kill me. I wake up in the very room I write this in. My new room. My new home, apparently. She eventually comes to see me, sits on the bed I was in. I try to roll away, but she pushes me back down and says, Just stay quiet. Be adorable. Rest and listen. Yeah, not words expected from who at the time I was thinking I was my kidnapper. She starts off with dropping the bomb that she was a freaking vampire. She gives me this toothy grin. I see her fangs and remember her ridiculous strength. I mean, think about it. She held me to my bed by the neck with only one arm and I couldn't even budge her at all. I feel my neck with my hand and I can still make out the bite mark. My reality for me breaks and I realize I have no hope here. She wants me hurt or worse. There's nothing I could really do to stop her. She seems to pick up on this thought via my face, I'm guessing. She places her hand on my forehead. I panic, but that's all she does. She just rests it on my head, then she starts running it through my hair. She says I have no need to be frightened. I told her, yeah, right, your people eat mine. She admits it's true, but I was not food, apparently. I eventually got to ask the question I had wanted to ask but couldn't when she, um, fed off me the previous night. Why was she searching for me? She explained to me that as a vampire, she has pretty much everything she could want. Money, a huge house, servants, connections to get her in lots of places. She says that I was the only thing she didn't have. I asked what she meant and she refuses to tell me. <sighs> oh, what am I going to do? Running isn't going to work. I sure as heck can fight her. And bizarrely, she has been nice, right? Protective even. Oh, what the hell? She's a vampire and I'm a human. Aren't I supposed to be just food to her? She's fed off me a few times. 
She takes so little from me. At least when I think it's only a little. Is the draining someone dry thing a myth someone came up with? <sighs> How am I to handle this? I feel like I'm currently in danger and yet not in any danger at the same time. There's a vampire that bites me every couple of weeks. The one that doesn't want any harm to come to me. Ugh, this is so infuriating. Why, why won't she just tell me what's going on? We both know I have no power here. Leaving is impossible and she catch me without trying. Not her, but some of her servants. I'm both outgunned and outnumbered. I'm dying here, I just know it. It's just... Mm hmm? That one of you guys didn't call for you. Hello? Who's... Oh, uh, hello, uh, mistress. I didn't realize it was you right away. I I'm sorry. Oh, um, I was just finally using that journal you gave me. What, what was I talking about? Oh, you heard me thinking out loud. I was talking about how great a mistress you were. <sighs> I was talking about the fact I don't know why you haven't killed me yet. Not going to hurt me? Then why are you biting me? Well, that's not helping. I'm, I'm giving you back something I lost, am I? When will you give me a straight answer for once? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, mistress. I spoke out of turn. D don't. She's gonna hit me. Just, just, just a hand on my cheek. You aren't mad, but you punish some of the other servants for doing so. Why am I getting a special treatment? <sighs> Mistress, please. You kidnapped me when we just met and now I'm a guest? Why didn't you just... Oh, right. That masquerade thing you talked about some time ago. Once someone knows you are a vampire, you can't just let them wander, so that's the reason you took me. You want me to try and relax? Not easy, given how close I am to my um, natural predator. My hands? Sure. Where are you taking me now? Y your room? Mistress, why on earth are... Mm. Okay, I'll be quiet. I'll lead on, mistress. She's gonna do something to me, I just know it. <sighs> of course I'm scared. You say that, but... Spend time with me? Why on earth would you... Y yes I, I do remember. I flirted with you when I first saw you. It just, just felt drawn in. Am I now not interested? Uh, wait, wait, hang on, mistress. Are you implying that you want to... with a human? Why on earth would you want to do anything with a human? It's out, I mean, outside, eat us. Don't vampires think of us as lesser beings or something? Uh, oh, I I'm special? Mistress, you've said that before. May I finally know why? I don't know why I bothered to ask. You aren't going to... Wait, really? Really? You are finally telling me why? Oh, you want to do what with me first? Huh. Okay, admittedly, I thought you'd use a coffin, not an actual bed. <laughs> 
Yeah, in hindsight, that was a dumb question. Of course, a bed is better than a coffin. <gasps> oh, um, mi mistress, what are... Uh, uh, mistress, for what reason am I on my back and you on top of me? I'm adorable? You're getting drawn into me now. Taste, what? Taste another part of me? You aren't going to bite me. Uh, I, uh, but, uh, oh, I'm glad you liked it, mistress. Wait, want more of me? Hmm. Mm. Of course I'm red. That just happened. You are staring into my eyes too. What do I think of yours? Ah, uh, like a pale of red rubies. Uh, don't, don't bite. Oh, oh, okay. Just kissing my neck. Mm. <gasps> mm. Mm. Oh. Okay, okay. That felt nice. Uh, r really nice. I kind of can't believe I just... <gasps> oh, mistress, did you just growl? Oh, no. I know that look. Wait. Ah! I'm okay. Just need to hold still. She, uh, this mistress won't hurt me. Oh, she hugged me a little tighter just then. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Mistress, I, I thought you just wanted... Why... Why did you bite me? What did I do wrong? You needed proof? Proof of what? Y your change? What? Are you going to let me go now? We are on a bed. You don't need to hold me like this. Not going to fall over anything. Um. Uh, you aren't going to let go of something so precious? Uh, uh look at your eyes again. What do I see? Oh, I see. Wait. Oh, your eyes. They aren't... Wait, why are they green now? Like you would see in emeralds. Oh. I'm a special human that's been linked to you. Mistress, I don't understand. Your eyes changing colors after drinking my blood is proof of it. This is why you've been searching for me. So you weren't looking for me specifically. Just the human that fate has linked to you. What does this mean for me though, mistress? I I'm to stay here and live with you? You'll... Hold and protect me for as long as I let you. Mistress, I... <sighs> Alright, I'm, I'm still bleeding. Yeah. I can, I can sit up. <sighs> yes, I'll, I'll hold still. What? Oh, a bandage for my neck. 
No, no, it's not too tight. I'm fine. Just lightheaded and a little weak, but I'm okay otherwise. Hey, mistress. Something wrong? You look upset. Uh, sad even. It's not that you're sad, but because your century-long search for me is finally over. May I ask what my blood does to you? I get the feeling it does more than just your eyes. So, it does change more. Uh, um, mistress, you are very clingy all of a sudden. My blood gives you back something you thought lost forever when you became a vampire. What did you lose? You lost a part of yourself. Hmm. Yes, I'll lay down next to you again, mistress. Hey, what are you... Mm. You want me to cuddle into your neck? Oh, uh, okay, okay, fine. Mistress, you are suddenly very warm. Oh, that's because of your feeding. It feels really nice. Wait, if you want me to rest here, are you allowing me to um, sleep here? But th this is your room, mistress. F for now? You want that to change? What, the fact that this is your room? Diamond, what, what did you just call me? Fine. I guess I have more waiting for answers. But if I'm not to call you mistress anymore, what should I call you then? But that's what other vampires and privileged folks call you. If I'm not a servant, then what am I? You love tugging me around too much. Say it. I, um, uh, I thank you for letting me rest here. <sighs> Lady Fairchild, good night. What just happened? She brings me into her room, she plants me on the bed, gets on top of me, kisses me all over my neck and then bites and feeds off me. And she somehow changes her eye color and invites me to sleep in her bed. Sure, she's very, very, oh god, very warm right now. And it's nice to be cradled. She's holding me with my head up against her neck while hugging the rest of me to herself. And she just kissed my forehead. Hmm, she's being very clingy all of a sudden. I mean, the attention is nice, but I'll never get used to her biting me. And what's up with that nickname she's suddenly using? I'm her precious diamond now? I don't think I'm that special enough to be called a diamond. And now she pulls the covers over us. She, she really wants me to fall asleep in her arms. I'm not sure if I can push my nerves down far enough, but I'll have to try. I used to be terrified of this woman. But now I'm cuddled up to next to her, trying to sleep. She said my blood did things to her. Does this go both ways? She's always so much nicer after biting me. And I haven't said anything to her, but my fear of her also gets better after she bites me. I have to wonder if this, whatever it is, is affecting both of us. I'm too lightheaded to think about this. Mr. S Lady Fairchild is right. I need to sleep. Whatever is happening to us, I need to try and trust her to figure it out. 
Hopefully she will tell me more later. Oh God, yeah, I'm feeling weak. Going, try to sleep. Figure the rest out. Maybe in the morning. Hmm. Hey darlings, um, it's been quite a while since I talked, but I just want to give a quick life update. Um, everything's going fine. Um, yeah, I've just got more bills to pay and stuff. And if you like this video, please, you know, do the thing down below. You know, already know about that. Just subscribe and hit that ring bell notification and everything there. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for Boom Random for giving me this awesome script i hope this was actually quite challenging because i'm not really kind of a sub so yeah um thank you again so much darlings and as always stay pretty you're taking my heart now you're taking my heart now and i don't know